overspending and trying to catch up on mistakes. It is on the Yankees. I always feel like the Yankees are overspending and trying to catch up on mistakes. It, it feels not desperate, but it, it's I don't look at them as like the Dodgers, for instance. They've let good players go. They've, they've Machado, Kershaw got a one year deal. They just let Trey Turner go. And I look at the Dodgers and I think excellent minor league system, excellent development. Um, the guys they spend generally, it doesn't feel desperate. They let guys walk. So Trey Turner goes to the Phillies. Is he, I saw the contract, is he that big of a difference maker in your opinion? I think so. And reuniting him with Harper, reuniting him with the hitting coach, Kevin Long, world-class talent, runs like the wind, has power, tremendous character, and it just adds to that Philadelphia. Look, they can taste it last year. I was there in Philly for every game during the playoffs and World Series, and it was electric. And you got to give the Phillies ownership a lot of credit. But you have baseball people making baseball decisions. The same thing with the New York Mets. Going back to the Yankees, it just feels like they're a dollar short a day late every single time, like yeah. a bad poker player. But, I mean, getting Aaron Judge is unanimous. You should have signed up four or five years ago. If you sign up for 100 and you take that delta of $260 million and you then deploy that capital to other players to help you bring a world championship, awesome. The Mets do a great job. They let go of DeGrom. And before the ink is dry and he's on the plane, they already brought in Verlander. So they're playing very proactive chess versus reactive. And that's why I think the Mets have struggled and the Yankees have struggled because there's no baseball people in their organization. Tim Nairing is the only guy left, I believe. So the Dodgers, 